We're joined by Leon Denton, Director of Social Services for the Salvation Army Metropolitan Division. Leon, can you tell us about the Shield of Hope? Yes, the Shield of Hope is located on the west side of Chicago. It is a facility that we are funded to provide services for homeless families. And when I say families, we take entire families. We don't take individual male and females. We only service families at that particular facility. The facility has 20 rooms upstairs. Each room has its own individual bathroom, everything that a family would need. It allows us to serve at least 130 people when we are fully enrolled. That includes the overflow room that we have downstairs. And the services are free. Everything that the family needs is provided for them, even down to a pillow, toothpaste, toothbrush, laundry detergent, everything that a family could need once they come there, we provide it for them. How does the Salvation Army partner with the city on this effort? Well, the city came to the Salvation Army some years ago and asked us for our support in meeting the needs because it, it was a growing need. And as you know, the population of homeless families is increasing in the city of Chicago. Years ago, you saw individuals a, a great deal, but now we're beginning to see more in, we're beginning to see more families on the street that are homeless. So there needs to be more shelters built in the city of Chicago. The Shield of Hope is a triage center, which means that we place families in other shelters that are funded by the city of Chicago. We do a complete assessment on those families and then determine what's best for them. We put together a plan with that family after assessing them that will help them become stable in life or to move to the next level in their lives. How long is the average stay for a family? Well, a family is scheduled to stay up to 14 days, but depending on the needs of that family and the size of that family, the larger a family is, the harder it is to place that family. So what we have to do is we work with that family and then try to find a shelter that will be able to accommodate that entire family. Because some of our families are what we call intact families, which means that we want to keep that whole family together. There's probably a father, a mother, and several children in that particular family. Who do you see walk through your doors? Everybody. You see people who are really down and have had a, a, a run of bad luck and things are not going well and all of a sudden there's a fire. Anything, a disaster in the city of Chicago. We even take people from other states. Because of our contract with the city of Chicago, families may be flown in from a disaster, a flood in New Orleans or somewhere, a fire, and they're brought here to Chicago and we take them at the Shield of Hope. What would you say you touched on the numbers um, and how the number of families who are experiencing homelessness in Chicago is on the rise. Um, what is the need for the Shield of Hope? Well, the need for the Shield of Hope is great. It's growing each and every day. Every time you have a disaster, or a cold front, or a, a real hot spill here in the city of Chicago, like the polar vortex last Christmas, we had a number of people that were there at the Shield of Hope because there's nowhere else to go. And sometimes people are with their relatives, and then sometimes they are not able to stay with their relatives. But because of the population here in the city of Chicago and continuing to grow and people coming from other states, the number of homeless people are really, it, that number is truly increasing on a daily basis. Thank you very much for your time, Leah. Thank you. Thanks for being here. And thank you for joining us.